In the past, I flashed my RX Vega 56 Reference Edition into a Vega 64. I didn't get the eight extra compute units, but I did get the clock speeds of the Vega 64, along with the increased power limit. For how to overclock your video card by flashing the BIOS, check out this video over here, and that's just for RX Vega cards. But, back then I didn't have a Vega 64 to compare the flash to Vega 56 against. So today we'll be taking a very in-depth look at the RX Vega 56, the Vega 56 Plus, and a Vega 64. We're going to see if this flash Vega 56 is more like a Vega 57 or more like a Vega 63. How much is it the clock speed versus the eight extra compute units of the Vega 64? Let's find out. Well, my hopes of a Vega 60 are dashed, just like my hopes of moving on and doing something useful with my life, but at least we ended up with what's roughly a Vega 58. If you found this video useful, make sure to give it a like. If you wanna see how far you can overclock your average Vega 56, I bought a bunch of them for something and you can see the results of overclocking them and kind of seeing what the silicon lottery odds are for the Vega 56 over there. Other graphics card videos over here. Comment, what was your favorite part about this video? What should I try with an RX Vega 56? Because I've got too many of them and they need to do something. So let me know down below. See you in the next one.